NerdErotic.com. Welcome to the Super Chat Square Up for last Friday night with your boy, Zach. It was a great show. We ran over five hours. We couldn't get to every Super Chat, but that is why we're doing a Super Chat Square Up right now to give them all their due time. Yes, I am still on the road in Carlsbad, California, but I will be heading home tonight. And there will be a Nerd Erotic Nooner later, but you're not going to see it because this will come out after that. Now, since we have last spoken on this channel... A lot more people have been canceled since Robert Meyer Burnett, and it's getting to ridiculous levels. We have now seen what's really going on after two weeks of rioting and looting. There's still protests, but I think people, well, I think people always knew what was going on before. They were just waiting for people to overplay their hands, which they have most definitely done and damaged whatever cause, uh, which started out pretty much everyone in Unity, uh, unified behind the fact that we needed to get some real change with the police. Uh, and I don't know if that's going to happen now because, like I said before, people have overplayed their hand. Uh, what, my, what was a united, genuine movement got co-opted by the usual suspects. And we are where we are. And I'm already heading into a different news cycle which is just simply canceling people, mostly from the CW, I'm guessing, and they just removed Gone with the Wind from HBO Max last night, and that's something I'm sure we'll talk about on the Nooner. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a lot of people since Robert Meyer Burnett, and he lost his Star Trek podcast and, of course, his manager job on the Schmodown. Uh, to me, I don't, I don't think it's a big loss for him. I mean, I'm sorry it happened, and I'm sure it, he does feel like it's a big loss. But I think it's a great opportunity for him to get away from people. Uh, I don't know if Hollywood culture survives this. I saw Defund Hollywood, Defund the BBC. I'm behind both of them. And right now, after what I've seen from some of the creatives in the comic book industry and in Hollywood, um, not sure what is worth saving at this point, And maybe we should just move on. And uh, do, we'll, we'll see. I take it day by day. I take it day by day. Twitter, uh, there's an expiration date on my Twitter for sure. All right. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Arthur, uh, no, we'll start out with Ruby's 200 for $2. Abolish the United Nations Cobra Snack over Hydra. Over Hydra. Mm, I don't know. I'd probably favor Hydra over Cobra, but not, you know, you know, yeah, screw Marvel right now. Screw Marvel and Disney. Arthur P. for $2. I am going commando in Jacksonville. There you go. Atta boy. Uh, thank you for the $2. Uh, Jens Jurgensen for 75 Danish Krona. Did you guys hear about the co-funder of Reddit, Alexis Ohanen, resigning so a black person can get his job? Yeah, he resigned from the board, and we did talk about that on Friday Night Tights. Thank you again. 487 Sean Tower for 10 Canadian pesos. The 10,000-pound elephant in the room, Tony Timpa, complete, complete lead destroys the George Floyd narrative. And we did talk about that. That is a video from 2016. Uh, let's get to as please never feel afraid of speaking the truth. I may have never heard of that nightclub thing. Otherwise it says Trek God 79 for 100 us dollars, which we did talk about, but we're going to talk about again because it was a hundred dollars. Damn it. And yes, uh, we, we, do, we try to do our best. We have to sometimes work around words that will destroy us in the algorithm, but we want to get our point across however possible. And sometimes it is risky, which is incredibly weird because uh, we're mostly talking about entertainment. As will get on his knees for Karen Lickety Split. Uh, uh, well, it depends on the Karen Thomas Baloo for $2. It really does. Uh, for $20, Bear Business One. Uh, just like we saw, the Hollywood industry have gone a two to three day delay in the extreme woke content stemming from the election. What will the next wave of outrage produce since the last wave failed to make any money? Well, they are running out of cards in their deck, and I don't think think it's there's any question this is just a politicized thing this is a organized politicized thing and it's got everything to do with the election at this point um they just found an opportunity to opportunize again i think probably started out genuinely like most things do but they get co-opted and the message gets lost 
how, however positive, uh, it, the positive change that could have come out of this gets lost. And that's the tragedy of it uh, because they, Hollywood, the gaming industry, comic book industry, uh, want to keep us divided. That, that is their desire. They, they, do, they do not want unity. And it used to be the one unifying thing. And they have taken that away. And now they're paying the price. The comic industry is falling apart daily. I got a video coming out on that in the next couple of days. Um, a feast night. A pound 99. Zach is the best. Get him back and I will buy him a mic. <laughs> I will get him back. Most definitely. Uh, he's kind of, you know, like I told him, he can come back whenever he wants. Uh, but I know people like to be asked, so he will be asked back. Uh, Sonic Spaz for $5. Remember when Brian Wood was Me Too'd? Then uh, his accuser took over writing the sci-fi adaptation of DMZ. I don't remember his accuser doing that. And yeah. And uh, I've, I've spoken to Brian Wood a couple of times in the past. Um, what does that mean? Nothing. It was just, you know, basic con conversation. Uh, Thomas Ballou, yeah, but that's, that's what it is. It's about removing competition. And we did talk about that with Robert Meyer Burnett. It, it's never about, uh, well, sure. Okay. I'm sure there was some genuine Me Too stuff with Harvey Weinstein and everything. But the vast majority, majority of it after that was about... Uh, Remaining relevant, you see a lot of uh, B-list, C-list actresses, mainly, whose career was over, who were past 40, uh, found a way to make themselves relevant again. Uh, I think that's pretty obvious. And I think it's also a way to remove competition. And uh, it's, it, you know, an, an HR department in Hollywood was probably never a good idea, considering the past uh, transgressions that have happen, happened there. And it's going to continue to be used. And why do you think Jar Jar Abrams is in power right now? It's not for his talent. Big Fat Nerd. Hail, everyone. That black Wonder Woman comic story looks like Steven Universe bad. Gay Steven Trevor? No, thanks. Um, I, that was funny what they did. I mean, that was, Dan, that was I, will, I have not laughed that hard in a long time. Um, they just create new characters. That's all we've ever said. Create new characters. DC, uh, um, Dan Didio did an interview with Dan Shaheen last night, which was mostly blah. He didn't ask him any real questions. Uh, and what, what was Dan's solution for fixing the comic book industry? Just write good stories which is all we've been asking for, but you have to have talented people to do that. And you have to have a good mix of talent, uh, from a broad range of perspectives. And unfortunately we have one perspective in the comic industry and it's the perspective of a 24 year old who lived with their parents until they were 23. <sighs> 10 rays to hail Gary long live the fandom menace from Jacksonville, Florida. Hail, hail Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, isn't it the, the biggest city in the United States squ by, uh, square mileage? I think it's 85 square miles. I think it's like, the, you know, as far as land is concerned. Uh, try going shot for shot. Name a bad comic from today and one from 2017. 2020 has a few heavy hitters, but 2017 has numbers. Gary, think MCRN versus UNN. Um. Okay, so name a bad comic from today and one from 2017. Okay, well, the one we just reviewed, uh, technically it's a comic, is Gotham High is bad. Uh, one from 2017, the entire Secret Empire run, uh, anything Captain Marvel, America Chavez. Uh, America Chavez, number one, is probably the single worst comic book. And they are the same it's actually gotten worse because the art was worse. At least in America, Chavez, the art was somewhat decent. Uh, peppermint oil capsule for two pounds. Beak, remember the, books uh, the book titled Blake 7 Afterlife. I will. I will. It is going to be a month minimum before I'm done with Blake 7. It took me that long to get through season one. Um, and it, this isn't a complaint, folks. I try to keep it uh, as real as possible here. I run my channel by myself. I make 
all of my own thumbnails. I edit all my content. I record videos. Each video you see minimum takes six hours to record. Uh, sometimes it takes 12 to 14 to 16 over three days. Uh, I work nine to 10 hours a day. This is the most time I've taken off uh, was these last three days where I've only worked three hours a day and I'm paying for it. Um, so, and I've been wanting to find help, but this help will have access to my life. They will have access to my channel. They will have my password. They will be able to read my emails. This has got to be somebody I can trust with my life. And that is I, I know a lot of people want to help and I, since I, I, I really appreciate that. But, um, in the past I have been horribly burned, horribly burned. And it was my fault for not doing the proper vetting. So, uh, there's that and having the time to look for somebody, sit down and talk. I don't have time. I, I could only answer what 20 emails a day at most. And then there's 10 DMS on Twitter, 10 DMS on Facebook. And then there's other DMS, which I don't even get to. That's why I say, if you're on Patreon, make sure to email me at garrettneurotic.com. Uh, there'll be changes coming to Patreon very, very soon. I'm, I, I need to streamline a lot of stuff. Uh, and people have sent me books and, and Blu-rays and DVDs. And I, I have a, a they're in the order they were sent to me. So I watch them in that order and I find it took me, God, six months to get the Blake seven, right? Uh, the talons of Wang Chang sent me that. Thank you very much. So I do get to it. It just, it takes a lot of time. Um, oh yeah. And there's that whole family I have <laughs> that I don't see a lot of, of late. Uh, and, and since the lockdown, uh, my wife has not been able to work full time uh, for three months now. And she made more money than I did uh, a lot more. So, uh, I had to make up for that and I've had to scrounge and find ways and, and she's found a way to work, uh, but it doesn't make up for her income or anything, but you know, and we've all had to do that. I mean, we're not the only ones so just explaining what's going on. Uh, Sony fired, fined 3.5 million for refusing refunds. Whoa, zero duality. I didn't know that. Is that true? Okay. I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back. Okay, that is indeed true. I missed this one completely. Uh, Sony fined $3.5 million over video game refund failures. The federal court is ordering video game giant Sony to pay $3.5 million in fines for breaching Australian consumer law in regards to their refund policy. Uh, on Friday, Justice Simon Stewart ruled the company had made misleading representations to Bruce to four consumers named Bruce who believed that they were entitled to refunds after purchasing the video games. There you go. Uh, the Aussies got them. The Aussies got them. Damn. That is a, that's probably a drop of the bucket for them. You would think maybe, I don't know. That's still a lot of, that's a lot of coin to give up. And, I mean, how does, how did those fines ever get paid? You know, did, did Sony just go, okay, cut them a check. I mean, uh, you imagine there'll be an appeal. It'll probably be a, an appeal, but that is, uh, that is crazy and not surprising. I mean, what, what stops that's online purchasing, you know, you never get to see anybody. Uh, I, you know, I was looking, what was I looking for? I was looking for a weight set. Okay. Cause my gym's never going to be open. So I'm going to get a weight set and put it in my backyard. And I was like looking online and I just, instead of going to Amazon or something like that, I just put in weight set and there's all of a sudden all these websites popped up. Right. So I went to one of them and it's some, I can't even remember what it was, but it was some company I'd never heard of. And, it, and their website made it look like they were freaking Amazon. And I checked and it was like some little hole in the wall place in New York that, and it showed up, they, they made the mistake of showing a picture of the inside of their business. And it was, it was a pawn shop. It was a pawn shop. And they, you know, it's like, what? Yeah, I'm not going to buy it from there. So there it goes there. Uh, Zach, hi from uh, the moron horde at Ace of Spades headquarters still have your podcast with ace and them on my ipod oh i don't remember that yan sui 01 uh, i'll have to look for that by the way 
Nerdrotic is available on Spotify, iTunes, and Player FM, which is a mirror for iTunes. Uh, but I think now that I'm through Spotify, you can probably find my podcast anywhere. Uh, uh, you could also go to nerdrotic.com if you just want to listen right there. I back every video and live stream I do on that website. I think there's only a couple missing. Uh, and eventually, that's going to be the one place where you can find all of the Exozones via audio. All right, because um, some of the Exozones are on Doomcock's channel. And I can't get the video, but I'll get the audio for those. So uh, that's our paranormal show, if you're wondering. Uh, Yansu01, a Fordorn, the Proterian of Holy Terra. The Proterian of Holy Terra. So I think that is a, uh, that, is that a 40K reference? Now, when you say Dorn to me, I'm a, I'm a Song of Ice and Fire guy. Unbound, unbent, and unbroken. Uh, don't, Gary, don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Well, get your ass out of here. Don't be such an ass hat, Thomas Ballou, for $2. I'm just kidding. Oh, all right. Uh, can we change the words ism and ist and phobe into just one word? We could try for the English dictionary phobinistimism. Uh, now, see, I, I have I, uh, mystic puma. I did this a long time ago. Uh, if you're wondering where istophobe came from, hello, it came from me. That's right. Uh, I've been saying istophobe for many, many years. Uh, not just recently, many, many years. And it's because I just, it, it everything was an ist or a phobe. Um, and, it, and, and what's, what happens when you accuse, you know, it's the boy who cried wolf. When you accuse too many people of too many things too often, it renders them meaningless. And you know what? There are racists and there are homophobes out there. And now uh, you can't label them with anything because you use that way too much on people who didn't deserve it. Uh, who uh, Listen, uh, the difference, there is a big difference between racism and bigotry. And the fact that I have to say that out loud and there's somebody out there, uh, not one of my beautiful and uh, talented subscribers uh, or the people who like my channel, but the people who come across looking for something and believe me, they're there. They're looking for me to make a mistake or any of us on Friday Night Tights to make a mistake to exploit it. Um, we most certainly have made mistakes, but they've, you know, like I said, last Super Chat Square, nothing's ever stuck because you can have a conversation here. And, I, you know, I, listen, the, the invitation has always been open to debate any of these people who uh, bring these accusations against us. And not one has been taken up on. Not one. All you have to do is email me, DM me, get my attention, say, I want to come on your channel and debate you. Um, okay. Okay. But I do have a stipulation. I do have one stipulation. And this is probably what holds them back. You got to show your face. I want a name and a face. No avatars, no hiding behind anonymity and avatars. If you want to debate me on something you're accusing me of. Uh, Rami Salami. Uh, if you want the greatest female villain in years, watch Animal Kingdom. I read that one. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. It was $9.99. That's why. God damn it. Rami Salami. Uh, yeah, that, uh, Doomcock likes that show a lot. I have not seen it, but Ellen Barkin is, uh, pretty cool. Uh, John Doe, humanity first, humanity first. That was quite, that, that is from humanoids. And I find that statement problematic, John Doe, don't you? Why would you say humanity first? Why are you saying humanity? Uh, Yan Sui, oh, one for $2 as can you do a parrot clown face? A Piro? A Piro clown face? I don't know what that is. All right. So Piro is a character. It is a clown. I had no idea who it was. I went and looked it up, and I'm sure he could. I'll ask him next time if I remember. Just remind me. Um, Jan Sui 01, uh, just in the regular chat, and we can ask him next Friday night. Cesario JPN for $10. Ben Affleck was, Reese Affleck was recently slammed for playing a Mexican guy in Argo. Was he? 
Oh, is that why Ben Affleck Mexican was was trending on Twitter? Uh, when will Brie Larson be slammed for taking a role for a black actress in Captain Marvel? Well, not enough, uh, by the way. Uh, Angelina Jolie as Fox from Wanted. Well, I personally was 1,000% against Angel, uh, Angelina Jolie uh, taking Haley Berry's part as Fox. And Eminem should have played, uh, I'm blanking on his name now, uh, uh, Jane McElvoy's part. Jim McAvoy's part, McAvoy, McAvoy, I forgot what his first name is, Professor X, and uh, Wanted is a good comic, I liked it, it's not for everyone, uh, it's very Mark Millar, uh, there's, there's a lot of comics that came out in the mid-2000s, like Wanted, uh, that I like, and I still like, but if they were produced today, I wouldn't like, because I'm kind of over the postmodernism and the... Uh, edgelord shit and I want a reconstruction of the superhero I heard Dan Shaheen so Dan Didio did an interview with Dan Shaheen last night and Dan Shaheen uh, who was a stay at home dad didn't want thought it was boring to see Clark and his son and uh, so he preferred the Bendis run which sold like shit and is now ending with Superman so um the comic industry, God damn, it needs to be just completely changed. As far as this is concerned, yeah, when, when are they? They're not going to do that, Cesario JPN, of course, because it doesn't fit the narrative. And the more they do this shit, okay, the more Hollywood does this shit, it eats itself and they expose that they are never, they were never about inclusivity and diversity and they're about the political party. That's all this has done. Now that things have played out for two weeks, you even have very liberal people questioning this bullshit. And that's good. That's good. They overplayed their hand. Unfortunately, there have been a lot of people who have lost their lives over the last couple of weeks because those people in charge of those cities allowed this to happen. Don't ever, ever forget that. And when they try to come out in 10 years and call themselves heroes and try to equate themselves to the 60s, just remind them, how many bodies were left behind for that? And that the, the Disney, Bad Robot, Sony, none of them denounced violence. None of them. Do not forget that. They played into the divisiveness and they signed off on the violence by not denouncing it. And yes, you can uh, ask for police reform when it comes to brutalizing our citizens killing a black man you can ask for that and you can also denounce violence at the same time yep uh the world is not twitter uh i've enjoyed the comics gate representation in the last two shows any chance we can get a cecil appearance in the future yes we'll get C cecil on uh leroy leroy for five dollars i was took me a second to figure out how to pronounce your name with the i very fancy very fancy uh yeah we can get cecil on that's no problem uh, I love Cecil and we'll, we'll, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll talk to anybody. We'll talk to anybody. Now, as far as Friday night tights is concerned, uh, I curate the, the guests. Uh, I don't know who's going to be on this Friday, but, uh, I'll, I'll think of somebody when I get home. Uh, Tesseract for five dollars. I owned a comic book store for 10 years, a Gary Beekler autobiography and business guide title, uh, title of your book. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I was actually the, the title to my bi biography would be, and if you knew me better, you'd understand is, uh, I don't know where I put my keys. <laughs> um, I'd pay whatever for a Zach signed new warrior. Seriously. Uh, just another guy for $2. I would too. So I, I think there is a chance it comes out in trade paperback. And if it does, then uh, it, it has to be because the, it cannot be undersold that the fact that they did this with, with New Warriors. I, I believe 100% that that was done. With the, Zach is in their head at Marvel. He is in their head. Even more than um, Red Thunder Media, Doomcock, and yours truly are in the head of Alex Kurtzman. Uh, like Marvel thinks about him every single day, every single day. Uh, Yan Su, oh one for ten dollars to Zach. I live in Quantico, 
near Quantico and my bill is a, and my BIL is a Marine. I bought your chosen graphic novel visiting the USMC Museum with him because of Korea exhibit. Uh, have you been to that museum? I'll ask him. I will, I will forward that message to him, Yansu01, and uh, hopefully he'll get you a response, okay? When is Wolverine coming out? Oh, any day now. JB Bohemoth for $3.99. I would imagine it probably already has happened subtly, and they will move forward with that immediately. And then Kaz Devlin says, what the hell? They made Wolverine what? Uh, what's next? A pacifist Punisher? Well, I think they're going to get rid of the Punisher altogether. Uh, I do remember Joss Whedon saying a long time ago that if he was in charge of the Marvel Universe, the Punisher would be the first thing he gets rid of. So it's not like these politics are new for Hollywood. Uh, they aren't. They just feel a lot more comfortable alienating large portions of their audience because we can't have friends who disagree with us on some things. Every single one of our friends has to agree with us on every single one of our points or they're not people anymore. That's the world we live in right now. Captain Spire for $10. Mark my words, those fucks who attacked fans of Alita relentlessly will now hail and praise, going so far as to claim they always supported the movie. It was those toxic fans who made it bad. Um, I would say, Captain Spire, that that is, that is more toxic media. I will maintain there are no toxic fans. There's just fans with bad individuals. As far as Alita is concerned, well, you're seeing a lot of that with Release the Snyder Cut. You're seeing a lot of people who didn't say a word about Release the Snyder Cut come along saying, I've always been about Release the Snyder Cut because, well, it's one particular YouTuber I'm thinking of who always says they hate fan groups but wants to be part of one so badly and not only wants to be part of it wants to be what they perceive as a power player in that group and instead of doing it genuinely like creating good content and getting a following or something like that they just try to bring down others so it makes me think of a tweet i put up the other day and we're going to go to it right now and this, of course, was in response to one of Jeremy's tweets, which was towards Ryan Cannell. Ryan Cannell and I disagree on a lot of things, specifically Snyder's DCEU. We like to fuck with each other and talk shit on Twitter. It's what men do. Random, the last Jedi fan, enters the conversation. I hope you die from coronavirus, Jeremy, which is so true. Those are toxic individuals. My response was this. All this toxicity makes me want to create a new fan group to complain about the fan group that complains too much, then get kicked out of the group because I complain too much. That's exactly what's going on here on YouTube every day. Thankfully, that never gets any traction. Back to the super chats. All right. Jonathan Corey. Just because I heard your boy, Zach. Thank you for the $10, Jonathan. And Captain Spire, thank you for the $10. Modalicious for $5. Speaking of istophonism, in New Warriors, why does the male of darker skin have to be cucked out and made to be, uh, be the pink, non-threatening character? Well, that is, uh, that is absolutely for... Uh, anti-patriarchal reasons. That's it. Uh, emasculating every single chance they get uh, because they want to feel comfortable. They want to feel comfortable because, quite frankly, a lot of people who are working in the comic book industry are emasculated, uh, self-emasculated. Adam Wolford for $5. Can Yellowstone already pop, reset this clown world or Overlord, just take over already. I can't handle this craziness. Well, I, I don't want to burn the whole thing down. That's what they want to do. That's what the other side wants to do. Now that time has gone on, people are seeing what they're really about. And we're starting to see some people fight back. And that's what we need a lot more of. People speaking out. More people being passionate about their common sense. Hey, Gary and panel, I saw a Billy saw Billy Tucci has a new Miss Fury book on Indy. What do you think? What's Tucci's stance? Woke or no? Avoid? Uh, Dark Star 76 for $5. I don't, I don't really know, to be honest with you. I think Billy Tucci is a businessman. Um, I saw him on Ethan's live stream. He's always supported Ethan. He's always done his own thing. But, uh, you know... I, 
I don't know yet. I can't make a out and out recommendation. The art looks great. Everything sounds great, but you got to do your own homework on that one. Uh, unfortunately, we have to do our homework now to make sure we support the right thing. And I strongly suggest all of you do that. And if you, if there's any question and you can't back it, I'm not going to blame any of you. Uh, but I honestly don't know. It seems fine. I'll say that right now it seems fine, but I can't give it a 100% guarantee because I don't have enough information. Uh, money for my anti kami comic crew. Shout out to my boy, Zach. Thank you, Bing, Be Big Ben Howard. And yes, I am a very, very proud capitalist. Uh, I am not uh, about communism in any way, shape, or form, ever. Uh, go check out Skits Live now on IGG. It says Skits Comic for $1.99. Go ahead if you want. Uh, Shane O'Reilly for a pound or, or one forty-nine euro for a phallic unicorn. Thank you very much. Uh, well hung and dung for five pounds. Was Zach ever in the military and has any relatable anecdotes? Anecdotes and did Gary ever own a comic book shop? Uh, yes, yes, and yes, 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 and yes, and you know that too. Well hung and dung. Tesseract for five Canadian pesos. Apparently, Zach was in the military. If true, hail fellow brother in arms. Yes, Zach was a marine. Was a marine. Uh, Java Bean, the TARDIS is canceled. A police box? Uh-oh. Yep, I already did. A, I did do a live stream on that, and I'm going to make it part of my video. I think a lot of Doctor Who fans have kind of ha haven't brought that up because they're afraid they're going to cancel the TARDIS. But think about, think about it. If they get rid of the TARDIS out of Jodie Whittaker's Doctor Who, it'll be the last recognizable thing. So absolutely remove it. Absolutely remove it. Remove it forever as long as it's part of this crap. And that way we can just cut it off right there. Uh, throw the baby, says zero duality for $2. Out with that back bath water. Absolutely. Elton Jong for five British pounds. It's all about beta males trying to create an environment where they are dominant. Isn't that weird? Beta males want to be dominant. Uh, it doesn't work like that. Submissives cannot make you submit. Uh, any other supporting agenda, woke, feminism, etc., is coincidental. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's all conflated. I think it's all together, Elton Jong. But I think you're partially very right there. Yan Su 01, tomorrow is the 76th anniversary of D-Day. Exactly, where they were fighting real fascists. Uh, the Fezman, 93 for five pounds. JJ has ruined every franchise he touched except for Mission Impossible because he had very little creative control over that, by the way. It seems to be the only successful one. Harry Potter will be next. Um, I, JJ doing Harry Potter? I guess he could. I guess he could, but um, I don't know. They're canceling JK Rowling. And before this is all over, J.K. Rowling might like get red pilled at all of this. Uh, Sten Madsen uh, for the future. What does it hold for Marvel, DC, Star Trek, Doctor Who? Any hope for these for the fans? Steve Madsen for 50 Danish Krona as it stands right now. No. Can things change? Maybe. Maybe. But as of right now, I think. Whatever progress was made has been set back for a little while. The problem is when they started doing the identity politics and everything, they were making lots of money. Think the Marvel was on the upswing. Everything was on the upswing. Everything's on the downswing. And they do not have, uh, I don't know if they'll produce any of this stuff. It might be, it, it might be simple mathematics. They might not have the money to make big blockbusters over and over and over again. Now, the other side of that coin is they need to make something safe that's going to make the most money possible, and that's where the change will come. The change will come when it comes to dollars and cents because green is the only color they care about. Um, and right now, or not right now, but over the last five years, they felt like the way to go uh, with identity politics was the best way to make money. They had data supposedly to prove it, but it was false. Uh, Private Halo 117 for 499, 200,000 units are already with a million more. 200,000 units are ready with a million more 
will on the way a clone army one of the finest we've ever created this army is for the fandom do it uh just us for rmb says jp grotogit kits thank you for the two dollars uh, we love rmb hail rmb uh in as his voice i love you so much carlos batista for ten dollars crazy cat guy for ten dollars uh, some coin for gas money once you go on the road trip. Hope you are able to enjoy your break. I, I, I did. I, I did. It's going to be over today. Uh, the, I don't know if I'm going to even be able to get through all of the Super Chats in one show because I have a nooner to do in about an hour and ten minutes. Then I'm going to go to a comic store and then I'm going to go home. Uh, annual naked bike ride. Not so great on a motorcycle. You'll... Single some, you'll singe something you might want later. Absolutely. Admin Grumpy Bear for $20. Yeah, you don't want to be very careful uh, on a naked. Mo yeah, I just want, I, that's not advisable. Uh, Paisley Gemini. Hail Gary and all. When watching the Venture Brothers and I hear Hank speak, I can't help thinking of Jeff from World Class Bullshitters. Maybe it's just me. I didn't think about that. That that's kind of funny. I'll have to go back and listen to that. I will have to go back and listen to that. <laughs> and Brie Larson and Natalie Portman to defund the police. Let's not fund them at all. Fuck Hollywood bailing criminals. Let Brie and Nat use double donger of shame. Says Randy G for five euros uh yes that was considering the fact that brie larson plays basically a space cop she plays a space cop she was a military officer who was in the cia a spy and she's talking about defunding the police go right ahead brie uh see brie thinks she's like robert downey jr she is delusional and she will find out how unpopular she really is Theory, Jar Jar ruins franchise so bad, Reboot can buy the properties later, dirt cheap, and profit from them later. Well, yeah, I mean, Aussie Drop Bear for Australian $10. Bad Robot has profited a lot off of their garbage, off their absolute garbage. Red Rooster for $5. Support Robert Meyer Burnett. Buy a copy of The Hills Run Red on, on Blu-ray. Received mine today. Thanks for the show, everyone. Thank you, Red Rooster. And yes, that is a way. Uh, he's a producer. He's produced actual movies and uh, documentaries. He's worked on the special features on the uh, Star Trek The Next Generation Blu-ray. I highly recommend. Uh, yeah, Get the Hills Run Red. He produced that. Uh, the Iron... Me the Iron... O oh, The Iron Omega. Gotcha. Yup. And sadly, my favorite IP drank the Kool-Aid RIP Games Workshop. Guilty of wrong think, so I'm no longer welcome. Well, you're welcome here. You're welcome here. John Maxwell for $10. I would like to talk to you about an organization I started called the Quality Children's Television Network. It's just me at the moment, but I plan to expand the organization going forward. John Maxwell, email me at gary at nerdrotic.com. Uh, Lethal Lightning. Uh, by the way, subscribe to Lethal Lightning. Great YouTuber, funny guy. I like him a lot. Last time I was three hours in, I nearly proposed. Well, the answer's yes, Lethal. The answer's yes. Uh, Ankaris, stool sample. Just says stool sample for two for $2. Um, no. Uh, that's what's all over uh, San Francisco right now. Uh, Narutakakan, uh, actual article on Collider today. Do we need the police? Well, let's start with people from Collider. Let's go to every one of their neighborhoods. By the way, anybody who says it's just stuff or defund the police, put your address down so we know where we can defund uh, because we should definitely be the change you want to be. We'll start with you. Steven Universe and She-Ra suggest we don't. Not trolling. It's really their insanity. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to go over that. We're, I'm going to go over that in the nooner today. Hail to all. Thank you, Noel Morrison, for $10. Thank you, Naru Tukaken, for $5. Uh, Faze Agito for 7267 
$10 each plus conversation for as can you guys acapella sing the South Park version of the Game of Thrones intro give as the lead part. We will work on it. I did talk about that in the in Friday Night Tights. Thank you very much for the $72.67. Charles W. Jansen the second for $10. If you have a comic book store, it means nothing now. If you have a comic book in a store now and it is selling like hotcakes, then that is something. Buck the trend. Well, for a long for the last couple of months, uh, your boy Zach had been producing more than Marvel was. And people tell him he's not in the comic industry. Zach is part of the comic industry. And if he isn't, who gives a damn? Who wants to be part of that? Who wants to be a little cog in a machine at a giant establishment corporation right now? And those are the ones who think they're punk rock. And that's one of the most disappointing things about my generation, Generation X. They think they're so goddamn punk rock, but they're a bunch of little rule followers doing what the system tells them to do and calling out people being little rats and snitches. That is not what punk rock has ever been about. You take what you, you take, what you want. You don't beg for anything. Gavin Rosdale, adrenaline, great song for uh triple X says Polly D for two pounds. I was not a big Bush fan. Of the band, by the way, the band. Uh, send all looters to the town of Mossberg. What's Moss? Uh, Crispy Critters. Mossberg. Looks like Mossberg is a place where there's guns made or something. I, I looked it up real quick, and that's all I could found. It's a Second Amendment thing. Yes, send them there. Absolutely. All right. Maxine Waters said the word riot is not racist. Uh, I never thought it was. That's the thing is when I'm thinking of looters and rioters, I'm not seeing a color. I'm seeing criminals of all colors, shapes, sizes, and genders. There's a lot of female representation uh, with the rioting and looting. And uh, wow, that is progress. Progress. Now we go to, and that was, of course, from Michael King. Thank you for $4.99. Timothy Robinson for five pounds. A friend of mine was unfriended by somebody on Facebook because he didn't say anything about the riots. Uh, Silence is violence. So now they're trying to cancel you for wanting to stay out of it. Now, that has been the primary goal of my channel is to not be partisan. I have people from the left, people from the right, people from the center. By the way, the vast majority of people are, are in the center and they go by issue by issue. It's the fringes that are controlling everything right now and keeping us divided. Uh, thank you very much, Timothy Robinson, for the five pounds. Charles W. Jansen, the second, for five dollars. They, they're they looting the food king. They're looting the food king. Um, they are looting a lot of places. In San Francisco, in particular, they were looting Walgreens. Walgreens. So they were leaving all these other businesses alone, and they were ro- looting Walgreens. Well, it's a drugstore that has opiates inside it. And I'm guessing that's probably why it was looted. Uh, They were throwing Jar Jar Binks figures in New York. They were crispy critters for $2. I don't know. Are are there any left? I was maybe roast Tico figures, but uh, bird of prey five for $2. Kapla looters won't burn this $2. No, they will not. Uh, Raw fans. This says, by the way, Kapla bird of prey five Kapla. R. Fletch for $5. Raw fans. Thank you very much. Raw. Terrible fans. Snell World for $5. Why couldn't DC just take Green Lantern? First flight and turn it into a Green Lantern movie instead of what we got. That's a good question. Darwin Cook. Brilliant. Uh, he is missed. A brilliant creator. Brilliant artist. Uh, the John Beck for $2. Hello, RMB. And by the way, yes, Robert Meyer Burnett showed up on the show last Friday. And I initially wanted to ask him after he was canceled, but then I felt like that would be kind of a douchey Hollywood move to ask somebody to come on a show once their life was completely ruined. So I thought better of it. I thought I was going to ask him on later, but Tom uh, invited him on and that was cool. And Tom did for minutes that did uh, join us later on in the show. Oh, snap. It's RMB says Eskimo Pono for $2. Yes, he, he did arrive. Uh, we love you, Rob. Support you 100%. A true nerd, says Jack Bauer for two, uh, $2. And 
I absolutely agree with that. Bear Business One for five dollars. R and B want to have a wants to have conversations. What a monster! How dare he promote discussion? Him sitting there with opinions and ideas. The horror. The absolute horror. R Fletch for five dollars. Wow. 1690s witch hunt extends to 2020. Yes, it does, especially on Twitter. R Fletch for two dollars. Liable for writing. Slander for saying. Yes, you are correct, sir. Thank you for the two dollars. Lethal lightning again for two Australian dollars. RMB, a friend wouldn't treat you like that in public. No, a true friend would not shame you in public, Robert. I know you want to maintain relationships. I understand that. I respect you for that. That's fine. Get away from those people, though, man. They, they don't deserve you. Drake is six for two pounds. Zombie James Brown, next hit. It's a clown's world. It is. It is. Ord's board for $5. Yo, Burnett, I'm starting to like you. Never say sorry. I only like D-Day because he doesn't bend. Damn, this panel is sexy. It really was. It was a sexy panel. R. Fletch for $5. Captain Sheridan's apology in B5 was great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see it, though. So I'm going to take your word for it, R. Fletch. Uh, tall, dark, and gruesome for two pounds. We entered Salem Witch Trials territory in 2020. On Twitter, we did. Yes. Uh, Edward Preter for 20 British pounds. Uh, the more Imperial art gets shoved in our faces, the more we turn to rebellious individualistic creativity. Hail Gary. Love your work. Hail Edward Prater. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, yes. Always been rebellious in nature for sure. Um, C cultural casino sends a phallic unicorn for a dollar 49. Thank you. Cultural casino. Uh, Carlos Batista for five dollars for as his speech, which was brilliant. I am going to start editing out some uh, some portions of the live stream, and I don't know. I don't think I'm going to create a third channel. I will put it on Nerdrotic Live, and we'll put some Friday Night Tights clips in once uh, the channel gets a little more streamlined over the next uh, couple of three months. Earth Prime, 232 for $10. As is killing it. Thank you for speaking what everyone is thinking. As is good for that. He is. Uh, Ord's Board for $2. You boys got me fired up. Yes. We were fired up last Friday. That's for sure. I'm fired up right now. Uh, Keith Rogers for $4.99. Gary, think twice about moving to Utah. I live here and housing prices are skyrocketing. Uh, not much longer. Uh, the leadership is also turning SLC into homeless cesspool. Well, you haven't seen San Francisco yet. So I, I don't think Salt Lake City is that bad. Do you ever see S you, you should see SLC Punk. It's a good movie. See SLC Punk. Uh, Charles W. Jansen for $2, $10. Robert, you are right about film crews. After getting everything moved and you get ready to shoot and then it rains, uh, that's when you realize you didn't, Bring the Charmin. The Charmin. Uh, the quicker picker-upper. The quicker picker-upper. Uh, crispy Critters for $2. Marvel is a contracted... Uh, Marvel is as contracted as Guppy's arse. As a Guppy's arse. Uh, Yen Su 01 for $5. Uh, as surely as water will wet us, as surely as fire will burn the gods of the copybook headings with terror and slaughter return. Indeed. Uh, for $10, Charles W. Jansen II. Criminals come in all shapes and sizes. Correct. Old four-legged chihuahua named Bandit stole everything that wasn't nailed down. It was, if it was nailed down, it would get a crowbar. Yes. Uh, and apparently that could be the doctor now because apparently the doctor can be a chihuahua now. Uh, JLo Flicks for $2. New t-shirt idea. I long for the asshole days, Gary. <laughs> I did say that. I did say that. I long for the days where celebrities were just you know, doing blow on their yachts and being assholes. Uh, Dark Star 76 for five dollars. That's BS, Gary Christ. We opened salon this weekend in New York. New York, home of Cuomo, sucks for Mrs. Nerdrotic. Hail Melissa. Hail Melissa. That's right. 
R. Fletch for $2. Great. A purity test constantly on Twitter. Constantly. Thanks for supporting Rob. Really appreciate it. The Ascended Ancient. Yes, and we always will. We always will because we don't put conditions on our friends. Friends don't do that. Black Tiger 001 for 20 Canadian dollars. Star Trek quote with the first link. The chain is forged. The first speech censored. The first thought forbidden. The first freedom denied. Change us all irrevocably. The, F1, the first time any man's freedom is trodden on, we're all damaged. And we are. That is true. Yes, indeed. Words to live by. And I will probably repeat that on the noon or later. Well done, Black Tiger 001. Uh, King Rokai for $10. Hey, Gary and gang. Hear about the woke-ass BS that coming to live-action Cowboy Bebop? Getting rid of Faye's outfit and ruining Spike by getting rid of smoking ten tendencies, ruining it. Well, yes, and then it no longer is Cowboy Bebop. Once you fundamentally change something, especially Cowboy Bebop being sexy, okay, that's what it's been known for. A lot of things, but it's known for that. Even I know about it, and I haven't seen any of it then it stops being what it was and it will never work. You have to have a foundation. It has to have the spirit of the character and the story if you're going to adapt it, okay? Because remember, its original form was not a live action film and it's just not gonna work if they do. It, it, it won't work now. They shouldn't even bother making it. It'll fall flat in its face. Mark C for $5. I'm mad, so mad that there aren't any female steady cam operators. Why aren't there more women wearing 70 pounds of Steadicam rig for 14 hours a day. I, I don't know, Marksy. There needs to be more of that. And there needs to be more women uh, in, uh, well, trash collection. And uh, but it, yeah, not just the fun jobs, not just the executive jobs. We need more female mechanics everywhere. Snell World for $5. Who portrays their character better than Chris Evans as Captain America or Henry Cavill as Superman? Roll Tides. Yeah, that's for Jeremy. That's for Jeremy. Sports ball reference. Uh, Say Brave for $2. This is the golden age for independent creators. It really is. It's the new era for independent, true independence, not little cogs in the machine at an establishment corporation, which we always, that is, I, I'm not just saying corporations anymore. I will be using establishment corporations because that's what they are. So all these little kids who think they're all badass and punk rock, they're just a bunch of little rule followers. Bruce Lombardo for $5. I think we should be able to join the marches dressed up like Kirk Lazarus. Uh, I, I, I think you should be able to do whatever the hell you want. I am fundamentally against people uh, telling me what to do, against tyranny. Uh, again, and, and there's no movement that involves unity that requires submission mark c for five dollars when i get you on youtube i uh, when i get on youtube i'm sorry i have trained myself to check every channel i follow also keeping regular hours helps it absolutely does uh when you start on youtube consistency is the key uh, and it's tough. It's tough. When I travel, like, uh, I'm doing the super chat square up right now. It's 11 to 22 AM. I have to do a nooner and a half an hour. I'm not going to have my full time to prep. So I probably can't make a thumbnail, but it's more important that I'm as close to on time as possible. And that I at least get something up almost every day on one of my two channels. Uh, and if you don't, YouTube doesn't like it. I haven't cut a video since uh, Thursday. They don't like it. They don't like it. So I'm going to have to make up for that. When I get back home and I will be hitting the road in about three, four hours. Mark C, thank you very much for the five dollars. Earth Prime 232 for five dollars. Gary, look at the drawing of Wonder Woman again, where Wonder Woman's foot is. Very very suggestive. I did notice that. I wanted to hold back on that drawing because I didn't want to say too much because I think the drawing speaks for itself. It's horrific. Uh, and go back and watch the the live stream and you'll see what I'm talking about. Or go to the Mary Sue and look at the Wonder Woman article or no, better no. Just go to the video. R. Fletch for five dollars. Nah, can't trust the media anymore, and that's the way it is. Missing you, Walter Cronkite. The great Peter Samedi from Alterna Comics. 
all the cool kids leave Diamond like you just did. And yes, more will be leaving Diamond and we will get Peter on the show soon. R. Fletch for $5. Burke's Connections said cities are a tech trap. They are. And we will be leaving them. Yes. Bruce Lombardo for $2. Hashtag Kirk Lazarus for Reddit president. For Reddit president. There you go. Bruce Lombardo, 8-inch Hulk, or 8-inch Mego Hulk for $2.99 Australian. Love for RMB, and you guys let peace and sanity come back. And it will eventually. I think a lot of people were just shocked about what's going on because regular people just don't want confrontation every day. And the inmates were allowed to run the asylum. They still are out there, but uh, believe me, there will be big changes they are hurting their own cause every day. Uh, now, again, I want to preface that it's okay to protest peacefully. Of course, uh, that's we we need that in our country, but we can't have those peaceful protests keep getting co-opted by these violent groups because that's going to stamp down the peaceful protests and bring more tyranny. Tyranny brings more tyranny. Uh, bad cops are tyranny. Rooting, uh, rooting. Uh, looting and rioting are tyranny for submission tyranny i am sorry that you're sorry r fletch for two dollars and yeah we all are he's probably talking about robert meyer burnett uh trek god 79 for two dollars i sent you an email as the quartering on your homepage. ss of the court on your homepage. is that about the quartering Oh, the quartering uh, shouted me out in a video. So I'm very grateful for that. Yes. And that wraps it up for the Super Chat Square Up, everybody. So that is it. Thank you, everyone who donated uh, to the channel. Again, you're helping keep the lights on. And you are helping create this content. And that is what I continue to do. You will be getting a lot of videos. They'll probably be Tim Pool style. Not, not throwing any shade there. But I need to get... I've got a lot to say. I've got a lot to say, and I'm not going to muck around with too much editing over the next week, and then we'll, you know, eventually get that Star Trek Picard review and other stuff. So tune in this Friday night. Uh, not too sure who we're going to have on, but uh, I'm sure it'll be a good show. Thanks again to all the moderatics out there. And remember, folks, not all who wander are lost, and may the wings of liberty never lose a feather. nerderotic.com please subscribe